hi all welcome back in this video i will share with you how to set up the s7300 analog input model correctly based on the signal type selected in this hardware configuration this way you can avoid the system faults light coming on let's get started Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new video. Okay, so let's say we have an already set up hardware configuration with an analog input model. When you double click on this model, we have the interface or the property of the card. When we go to input, okay, we can see that it's set on the voltage. And then when we look at the box at the base with the B written in it, which means the hardware is also set at point B. Now let's change it to 4 to 20 milliamp. So I select for the first one, 4 wire. And then select for the next one. And then I will repeat for all. And we can see that immediately we select that. The letter in the box changes to C, indicating that we need to change this on the hardware configuration itself okay so i compile and then after that i download into the system okay so after the download we can see that the system fault has come now i turn the breaker off and then to correct this i need to take off the model so i open the interface of the model grab the connection cables and then remove it okay so with this done i need to now take off the model from the rack so i grab a screwdriver and then open the screw on the underneath you raise it from the bottom towards the top okay it is done perfectly and now we can see the settings at the back of the model and we can see that it's set on b which is indicating the voltage that we was selected previously now we need to set it to C to do this grab a screwdriver and then gently remove the setting device you need to be patient now it has come off this is the plug and then we can see the socket now we need to flip it to position C which was indicated in our hardware configuration position it back and then push on it gently into position okay that is done we need to repeat for all the four points okay so we take this one off switch it to position c and we can see that we've done also for channel five and four we need to repeat it also for channel three and two okay push it into position and then finally we will do that for channel one and zero okay so with all done we can see that all is set to c and it's perfectly done we need to then move on and then send back the model into its position so you hook the top first and you gently push it down okay and then you need to grab the screwdriver once again and then screw the model into position okay so with this one done you can then open the front cover and then prepare to slot back the connector and the cables okay you gently push on it and you should hear a click sound indicating that it is well fits into position. Great. Arrange the cable and then close the front cover. Great. Now we need to power back the system on. You move to the breaker. Turn it on. 
and then voila we can see that the system led is gone off indicating that everything is set up correctly based on the hardware configuration viewers thank you for watching i hope this helps someone out there see you in the next tutorial bye bye